Hey guys, it's Anna here. Um, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video that I'm gonna do today for you. And um, I'm actually gonna use like do a makeup look, but use uh, products that I just haven't gotten around to use yet. When I ordered um products, I ordered other few bits, um, so I just haven't gotten around to using them yet. So what I'm gonna do is just show you some of the items. I'm gonna kind of use some that are new and that I've picked up, but I've used kind of like once or twice, um, and then some obviously new products that I did get, um. So what I've used and what I've got, I've actually used this now a couple of times. It's the MYX Honey Dew um Dew Me Up. Um, this was getting compared to the YSL and the the Primax Summer Blur. Um, yeah. So just be aware, it's actually a little bit sticky and um, when they're supplying it on. So yeah, no, it's actually really um. Quite nice. There's a smell off it as well, and um, so you can kind of get that like applicator to apply it on. And um, so, as you can see, you get that stickiness look from it. So the next product that I ordered was the Becca Skin Love, and um, this is the glow she. The Glow Sheen um, Prime and Set Mist. So obviously when I finished up on my Maybelline one, I actually ordered this. Um, so I've just used it on my brushes and I'm actually going to use this at the end as well when the the makeup is all set because I have the honeydew on my face. Um, so this is infused with a, a Glow Nectar Brightening Hikes. Um, I kind of just get a small hint of nectar. I'm not really getting the full blown nectar smell off it, but um, yeah, I'm gonna use that. Oh, if you can see, put that there, um, and then I'll just. So when I ordered that, of course, I um had the Becca um the under eye brightening setting powder. I've actually only used this once uh, since I've got it, but with this look now, I'm going to use it again. So they're the two Becca products that I have there. So I'm going to use the ColourPop uh, whatever pressed uh, powder palette. Um, I think that this is going to work really well with a look for today. Um, so you can see that the names of the colours are on the front and then they're on the back as well. Um, so I probably just use kind of like some of the darker colors just to kind of go in with my top today. We'll see. Um, so there's seven colors there that would work as a base for the eye. Um, and then five, five shimmery colors. So obviously here, this one here is actually like a really, really light shimmer. So I'll just do a couple of swatches of the colour there. Again, they're quite powdery, quite um they're not too harsh when you're kind of rubbing them there. Um I just feel they're more powdery. So that's those there. So I'll use that for an eye shadow and eye look today. The eyelashes that I'm gonna use are the eye lure, the um simple floor light and wispy ones. So I'm just going to use like, do like, obviously the eyeshadow is going to be a little bit more kind of um, sandy out, so I'll just use like a natural eyelash. Um, so yeah, um, my eyes are primed, my face is cracked. Um, I'm going to do one eye on and then I go off and do the other eye and then come back and finish the look. As I said, some of the products I knew, some of them are going to be just what I have here already. Um, so yeah, let's get cracking. So here it goes. 
Yeah, so guys, I've actually set my brushes with the Becca and um, Set and Prime and um, the Mist. So I'm just going to use my regular uh, blank canvas fluffy brush. And um, this is E21. And um, so I'm going to go in with the whatever color pop. Um, yeah, so obviously uh, color pop and stuff like that is only available in America. So I've had to order them. Um, so but they are quite affordable products and um, so yeah I'm gonna start off with this uh, this palette and um, I have the Costa Coral one which I've already used before so um, when I ordered that I ordered it so I'm just gonna give this a bash just to see and um, so yeah I'm just gonna start with maybe like this color here so which is that guy so I'm just gonna go in with that and and I'm just gonna go in with my fluffy brush so I'm just gonna work off so straight away pigmentation is there so I'm just gonna there is seems to be a little some kickback from the Um, the palette. So I'm just gonna work this bit here. Just going like that. And then, if you want to just bring it into your Obviously, just run this out over the crease and blend it out. So just give that. And then, if you want to go in with maybe a darker color here, which is Mr. Mrs. Brightside. So, um, just use that bit. Sorry, I just had to get another mirror. So if you want to bring that out to the edge, just lean out. Just on the other. Just to darken it up. Yeah, so you just run it up and out to the corner there and up over the other colour that you applied. Um, so just grab another brush then and what I'm going to do is take some of that maybe lighter colour so we can add that in the centre and stuff like that. Um, I don't know whether you can kind of see all over here is just a little bit of a kick back from this colour here. So just, as I said, they're quite affordable so, you know, um, so I'll just grab a bit of that. And just pile up your brush. So I'm just gonna put this in the center. Top it into the center. Bring it over. If you just want to grab your this one here to bring this color down a little bit more, get the two colors together. And that's that. 
Let's grab a little bit more. Put that away. And then what I'm going to grab, what I'm going to take is maybe some of these two goals. So I'll probably do the the not okay and the duh. So um, those two sparkly ones. So I'll just pop yes, the rest of this color. Just pop it in. And if you just want to grab a little bit more of a darker shade, just to the outside. So I just added some of the primer in the center of my eye there. Um, I'm just going to grab a my Duo Ended um, Deals uh, brush. Um, so I'm just going to take that real kind of like sparkly one the, the. so I'm going to add that now oh oh it's actually like really like goldy fleck it was actually a big chunk of it came ooh I'm surprised about that. A big. Oh well, I'm really. Really. So what happened was I went in to get some and it actually like it's it's crumbled in but you are getting that really like like whoa like the gold it's like really like okay like it's not a bad thing like I just was like shocked at how it was coming out so So you can see that it's more intense than what you are getting in the package. So I'm just gonna run a little bit more of that darker shade up. So what I'll do is, I'll do, you can see that when I take it out, it's like gold foil. So then you even the way it's like applied, it goes on. You're getting that gold foil kind of effect. So you can see there, so that's why I was like, whoa, so. So that's one eye complete, um, so what I'll do is I'll just go off and do the other eye and then come back and do the rest of the look. So I'm back and my two eyes are done now and um, I just set the glue on the eyelashes so I'm just going to give those 
a few minutes to kind of do the um, dry in a little bit more and then I'm just going to apply them to the look. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply my foundation which is the Thueva one. I don't know if I'm saying these names right but um, so this is the foundation I'm going to use and um, I'm just going to stick a few I'm just going to stick a few couple of pumps on my oh that was a big one there so I'm just going to take this run it around I actually can't get over that um, that do from the crop up I thought this was going to be quite shimmery so that is the foundation uh, applied um, I've actually used this a few times now in a couple of my looks um, I did use it last week on a look um, where I used it, I'm actually going to use the palette today on this look as well is where I used the LA Girl Cosmetic and um, the Makeup Artistry um, makeup palette that I received um, but unfortunately I'll have to redo that um, as I don't know what happened to the video, the film but um, I will redo it because I wanna. I have a few more products from those that I want to do. Um, so that's the foundation uh, applied. So I'm just going to do a bit of concealing. I'm actually going to mix two colors together because again, I did this last week in the last look um, and actually worked out really good. Um, so it, it is another product from the Pro DLA Girl the pro concealer so I used this I felt it was a bit peachy so I went in with my um deals uh this is the hide and cheek hide and cheek um so this was a lot lighter so um I'm just gonna apply this now this is actually a brush applicator and this is like I don't know how you like it just comes out so I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this on the eye mm -hmm. so you'll see what I like a peachy orangey concealer so I'll just bring that down a little bit here so you can you can see that it's a peachy but this thing that I want to use. So then what I did was I got the the deals one. I'm just gonna that's a lot lighter. So I just mixed the two together. I actually used my Miss Piggy sponge so what I'll do now is just get that because I found it quite easy to get into the into the corner so 
that this can go right in. And I found that it actually blended nicely with the foundation. So it never like it never looked like you could see the different shades. It all just blended in nicely. Pop away like that. And you can see. I actually love my Miss Piggy sponge. I actually haven't put it down since I got it. So I've kind of been using it on the makeup looks. As I said, it's easily, easily gets into the corners. So that's the conceal part. So I've just added my eyelashes and um, so what I'm going to do now is add the the Becca under eye setting powder. So I'm just going to use my and um, Miss Peaky Sponge. Um, so as you can see the compartment of this is like you need to twist so some is come out there. So what I'm going to do now is just take some. And just add it to the other eye. And then just let that set. So now what I'm going to do is add this um the Revolution, um, this is the Intense um, liquid liner, so again it's like a little uh, felt tip pen. I actually only got this last week or the week before, maybe last week. Um, I am trying to hold off using it, but I actually used it when I used it last week, I was really impressed. Um, it's just I have a few more bits that I'm, I'm actually waiting for the Tiana and um, Disney the Walt Disney makeup uh, collection that I ordered from ASOS. So I kind of ordered, I went and got a few more of it from the Revolution. So I'm kind of hold, holding off um, trying to use this as much as I can. So I'm actually just going to use a nail. I hope it goes over. Oh, it actually does. As you can see, very intense. So I'll just go around first on the eyes. And then do a little flip. Go right down. So as I said, I went for the Tiana, the Walt Disney uh, collection. I'm so excited. Um, the only thing I couldn't get was the lip topper. So um. That's the only downfall at the moment of that. Um, but hopefully I will be able to get one. So just 
throw that into the end. And then just do a little flick. Yay! Tiny bit of flick. Okay. So I'll just do it on this side. there we go so that is the eyeliner complete just going to take off the powder now and then just finish with the cheeks and i've just added the darker um shade under my eyes um, and then i just added my nyx the white um just into the waterline there and um, now i'm just going to add some color to my cheeks and the highlighter that I'm actually going to use is not um, a highlighter, but I've used that as a highlighter. And um, it's actually from the LA uh, Cosmetic Palette that I was talking about. Um, so yeah, as I said, hopefully I can get to do another video for that one. So I'm just going to add some of this. Um, so this is the rain. Um, it's just like a peachy uh, blush color. So I'm just going to get my real techniques and just dab it onto the apple of my cheek. Give a little smile and just so you can see there. So that's the cheeks then. So now it's the highlight part. So this is the palette that I was talking about. This is the palette here. And I've actually used this one, this gold here, a few times as a highlighter. So I'm actually going to do that, use that again now. So get my real. There's actually a mirror in this as well. So I'm just going to grab, just dab it onto the top of my cheek there, so you can like see straight away that you're getting that glow, and then it's onto the other side. Okay, so this one to the other cheek. So you can see there. And then this on the top of my nose. So and then the arch of the brow. And then this is on the tip of your lip, is right there. And then this is a small bit on the chin. So, hence why I use this as a highlighter. Use the lip liner and the lip uh, lipstick that I picked up in deals, and um, so yeah, it's kind of more of a nudie color. So I just think with this look, we can use it for that. So the lip liner. So the lip liner is like a nude caramel. So it does. Oh. 
outline your lips. But this is a, a really nude. And then I'm just going to add the lipstick, which as I said, it does have a lot of moisture to it. So this is my London. And you can see that. So I'm just going to add a small bit of the Pale Matters, which is this. Which again is like a, a nudie. So get that and we'll run around the lips. So that is my so that is my makeup look complete for today and um, so I really hope you so I really hope you like the look and um, as I said I was really impressed like I don't know why I thought about that so like the way it came out onto the eyes and um, yeah so I really like the highlight the eyeshadow of working as a highlighter um, and yeah so like quite impressed by the look um, oh I forgot to put my hold on my Becca Mist So now my makeup is complete and um, I really hope you like the look. I am, as I get using more of these products, I am kind of impressed. Um, obviously, I was a bit taken aback by the do from the Colourpop one. Um, and obviously impressed with the gold from the LA girl and um, working as a highlighter. Um, yeah, so I hope you like the look. Um, I hope everyone's staying safe and looking after themselves and then um, yeah so hopefully we'll get back to normality soon and um, yeah and look after yourselves.